This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And looking in the, uh, the oil and energy space here, there really doesn't seem to be an end to the rally anytime soon here. Oil, albeit is just pretty flat on the day, maybe even down a little bit looking at West Texas here. But the underpinnings to the marketplace here are that the, the rise will continue. What's going on? And well, it's obviously the Iran sanctions. We have a Venezuela election this weekend. So all of the, the discontent happening down in, Ven in Venezuela at all, as well is really pushing prices still to the upside. Also, earlier this week, we got some EIA data, which was extremely, extremely bullish. In fact, crude supplies and gas supplies were down much more than expected earlier in the week, keeping this bullish case going forward here. Now, we look at the difference between West Texas, so crude here, and Brent, the overseas oil, and that spread of about $7 right now is the widest it's been in almost three years. Well, there's a couple reasons for that. A, it's the massive amount of shale production that we're seeing here in the U.S. and the geopolitical concerns and the concern that in Europe, some of the oil cannot get delivered because the possible Iran sanctions and maybe some of the pullback in Iran there is really supporting prices there. So that has widened this spread out. Just a couple months ago, the West Texas Brent spread was down to about two, two and a half dollars now. But this is now, again, a three year uh, high in terms of the difference between the two. So the increased shale production here in the U.S., again, with the the potential for, for big problems with the Iran sanctions and a big drawback there, that is really causing this. So the underpinnings to the market, again, are that there is still pressure to the upside. Be really interesting to see what happens this weekend out of Venezuela. Yes, the election is, is going to happen. It's going to go as planned. And we'll see they are at their lowest production actually in, in recent history. We'll see if that continues. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.